Day 61, Periods of Dryness God's desire is to give himself to the soul that really loves him and to that soul which earnestly seeks him. And yet it is true that this God who desires to give himself to you will often conceal himself from you, from you, the very one who seeks him. Now why would God do that? Dear saint, you must learn the ways of your Lord. Yours is a God who often hides himself. He hides himself for a purpose. His purpose is to rouse you from spiritual laziness. His purpose in removing himself from you is to cause you to pursue him. The Lord Jesus is looking about everywhere for that Christian who will remain faithful and loving even when he has withdrawn himself. If the Lord finds such a faithful soul when he does return, he rewards the faithfulness of his child. He pours out upon that faithful one abundant goodness and tender caresses of love. Here, then, is something you must understand. You will have times of spiritual dryness. It is part of the Lord's way. But the fact that you will have spiritual dry spells is not the issue. The important question is, what will you do in a time of spiritual dryness? At this point, you must learn something about your natural tendencies. It will be the natural thing for you during a dry season to try to prove your love to the Lord. During a spiritually dry season, you will find that you will try to prove to the Lord your faithfulness toward Him. You will do this by exerting your strength. Unconsciously, you will be hoping by such self-effort to persuade Him to return more quickly. No, dear Christian, believe me, this is not the way to respond to your Lord in seasons of dryness. What then shall you do? You must await the return of your beloved with patient love. Join with that love, self-denial, and humiliation. Even though the Lord has hidden himself, remain constantly before him. There before him, pour out your love upon him passionately, and yet I would add always peacefully. Spend time with him in worship and in respectful silence.